First of all, is it cool to know that you have a dance company? It's your dance company. It's Melissa Photos. It must be so awesome. You know, I don't think of it that way. I don't know. I don't really think it's... I. What I'm really excited about is who we are as an entity and as an ensemble. I don't think of myself as an individual. I, 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 I can honestly say I love what I do. Yeah. It's ultra challenging. But I can go home at the end of the day and say I really like my job, even though it just it's so challenging sometimes. It's a great, great thing. thinking I want to start a company where the dancers not only dance but they also choreograph. That was my dream, that was my seed that was planted because when a dancer is finished dancing and hasn't choreographed or taught at all, where, where will their skill sets draw from? How will they get into their next creative step when their bodies can't do it anymore? That's neat. So it's almost like you're not only protecting dance, but you're protecting the dancers so they can have a longer career? Absolutely, because That's they are awesome. these vessels of amazing, rich information. Think yeah. of all these. We just had an opportunity to work with Anne Ranking, uh, Tony Award winner, Fosse in Chicago. And yeah, she, I'm not even a dancer, and I know of Anne Ranking. Absolutely, yeah. and it was, and, and her, her being able to come and work with us and share with us and enrich us with her experiences yeah. and, and her work was so incredibly inspiring. For these artists, in my mind's eye, not to be able to take that past just their performance career is yeah. sad. So to provide opportunities for them to do it through choreography, through staying in the industry, through keeping the art form alive is really important. So you have to grab his arm, is that right? Yeah. So this is Melissa Thotos and dancers, but you dance with a Joffrey, right? Okay. And what's your name? Michael. Michael. I'm Sam. Hi, Sam. Hi. Nice to meet you, <laughs> nice to meet you too. How does one get invited to choreograph for it? Is it like being invited to a party? You are cordially invited to <laughs> <laughs> make up a dance for us? I guess. I, usually the artistic director has yeah. seen something else that you've done, likes what they've seen, and um, she just thought it would be a good opportunity for me and for her dancers. And I say that because I'm just like kind of starting out too, so yeah. I'm finding my own voice and I'm trying to find my own way and it's a great opportunity for me to work with, you know, professional dancers. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, good. I know you have a notebook mm -hmm. and a video camera, so you write right. out what you want mm -hmm. the dancers to do in your special dance hieroglyphs. Yeah, a little, <laughs> basically, and I usually do it structured on the counts of the music, really? so that I kind of, it's my map. And yeah. then I write in, and a lot of times there's nothing on that map except yeah. counts. The title, which is Timelines, is not only about the line of the body in time, but also time and places in time in your life. has a lot of talent. Why not help it to bring those voices out and forward here and, and allow choreographic voices to, to create and to season here 
so that Chicago can be known as a mecca of creation in dance. And I have a gymnastics background, and the aesthetic of my company is very athletic. Yeah. Uh, the work we do, I, I'm very drawn to very athletic dancers who, who really, um, very gutsy movers. And I noticed that uh, when I was watching a piece that was, I think it was choreographed by Paul Cristiano, yes. and he did this thing where this woman was literally doing sort of like a handstand in his arms, and then she swiveled her legs around. It looked like a, a move on the balance beam yes. or something. <laughs> I've been asking a lot of the people that I've gotten to speak with about the idea of does it bother them if nine people, or 90 let's say, 900 let's hope, come and see a dance piece and they all have a different idea of what it was about. Oh, I love that. You do. That's so I good love to hear. That. And the reason is they have different life experiences. So what they're going to notice that stands out in the work will be different than the person next to them. And they will experience it differently. And I love talking to people who've never seen dance before. Because they're very, very, not that people who have aren't honest, but they're, it being so new, they're very open and honest about their reaction yeah. right away. And um, I love picking their brain about why, what section, what spoke to you about that, what worked for you with that. It's yeah. really neat. It's really exciting. in our premise. I yeah. really believe in the mission of this company and I believe in the place that we have in the community and how we serve the community through what we're trying to do and, and trying to provide opportunities for choreographers to, to be seen and to have a voice and to grow. 